My name is Ursula Ryan. I'm originally from Frankfurt, Germany. I came over to this country as a young girl. The company here is Swiss Baron Ryan. I've been in Atlantic City since 1980. We teach acting. We're casting directors. I was six years old and I had a little shovel looking for survivors. Mm -hmm. But when the airplanes flew over, we always knew if, if they had, the bombs had been dropped already by the sound. <laughs> I had my baby sister born in a bunker during the, during the bombings wow. in 1945, February 45, in a bunker. We had to slip a mattress to the, my uncle and my older sister to the bunker and um, my mom gave birth there and uh, uh, it was awful. No food, oh wow, you know, we were starving. <laughs> but we're survivors, that generation, we're survivors. shy, um, wonderful person, religious, um, very attached to his mother. Um, I was there when he met Priscilla. There was a club called the Eagles Club in Wiesbaden, Germany, and Priscilla used to go there and I sang there. I was a young singer there. <laughs> That's how I learned a lot of my English too. <laughs> And I met Nick Clooney there. He was a young soldier. It's George's dad. And and I was so into singing. And, and I talked to his sister, Rosie. Right. Rosie Clooney was a very famous singer. And she had been married to Jose Ferrer, which was a very famous producer, director, actor. So they encouraged me to come over to this country. He says, you know, I'm going to be known as Rosemary's brother and George's father. <laughs> <laughs> so for my papers to come through, I started my papers. I met uh, my friends and I was 17, 18. <laughs> oh, I was young. <laughs> and I didn't come to the United States until I was 21. So that's how long it took for my papers. And when you're at, at that age, I don't care who it is, you don't wait around. Right. <laughs> uh, he was not that well known then. Uh, some of my students actually wanted to talk to him and he, because they couldn't get onto the casino floor, he actually went upstairs on the escalator up into where the young actors were and had pictures. I thought that was so wonderful of him. Life is hard. Life is rejection. I don't care if it's sports, if it's jobs, life is, is rejection. And if we make them aware of rejection and not take it personal and work on their whatever they have to work on in order to not be rejected any longer, I mean, it saves lives.